While taking care of her siblings, Savannah Chrisley admits to having a full-on breakdown. Last month, Todd and Julie Chrisley arrived in prison to start serving their sentences. It is obvious that this will drastically alter their life. They're not the only ones, either. The life of Savannah Chrisley is in ruins. There is more to it than just anguish for her parents' incarceration. She is currently raising a 16-year-old and a 10-year-old as a single parent at the age of 25. She's lost it due to these difficulties. The host of the podcast Unlocked with Savannah Chrisley discussed her new role in life on this week's episode. She is more than just Grayson, 16, and Chloe, 10, as aunt and older sister. She is now caring for them both and acting as their parent. Savannah is by no means the only older sibling to be given these duties. She is not the first person, either, to find herself taking on parental responsibilities when her real parents are behind bars. That said, it still isn't any simpler. I had a complete collapse the other night, Savannah said. She remembered, I was trying to locate Chloe adequate clothes to go and visit my folks and find her hair items. Savannah outlined the I just collapsed on the ground and started sobbing. Savannah is only 25 years old. Keep that in mind. Additionally, she lacks some older siblings by that age already substantial childcare experience. My mom is not me. How will I accomplish this? She questioned herself out loud. I don't believe that I am worthy or capable enough to accomplish the work she's done for her entire life, Savannah then said. Chloe gave Savannah emotional support and encouragement in a sweet moment, even as her concerns were eating her alive. The following day Chloe told her, you're doing a really good job, as she sat there, she recalled. Chloe had said to Savannah, you made me ramen noodles last night, Savannah recalled. Speaking of food, Savannah is devising a fresh strategy to maintain harmony, predictability, and order in the household. We're going to plan our meals for the week every Sunday from now on, she said. And you guys tell me what you want for dinner, Savannah added. Savannah added, and we'll get the food for the week, so you'll know what to eat every night. That method of handling things is sound, and is less likely to cause resentment than just announcing what everyone will eat and hoping they enjoy it. A lot of people like to plan their meals in advance. Not everyone has the peace of mind to make it a reality. Planning ahead can be a source of comfort in uncertain times. It will be the toughest thing you've ever done but it will also be the most satisfying, Savannah recalled her father telling her. I'm beginning to see that, she said. Savannah observed, it's really amazing because I went from a point, sitting in the same chair thinking about how angry I was at God, why would you permit all of these things to occur, following each other? She recalls asking, where are you? I'm at such calm right now, she exclaimed, in this place. Chloe and Grayson should also find a place of quiet, and tranquility, according to Savannah. Savannah said hazily, we need to figure out healthier methods to cope with things and deal with things. She continued, even if it's just minor things I'm trying to implement because I'm not their mother. Savannah went on to say, I'm not their dad, their sister I am. Savannah said, I want to stay in that sister role. But being a parent and exercising discipline is difficult. Savannah will continue to perform in this position until Grayson is in his 30s and Chloe is almost an adult, with Julie serving 7 years and Todd serving 12. We're hoping they can all figure this out.